couple years ago, I got this great email. It was one of those little known facts things. And it was the names of groups of animals. I liked it so much I did a whole series of cartoons about it in my webcomic, The Weird World of Weiss. See, we all know a group of cattle or buffalo or elephants is called a herd, but did you know a group of crows is called a murder? A group of turtles is a bale, a group of frogs is called an army. Scoutmasters will relate to this one, a group of monkeys is called a troop. A group of cats is called a clowder, and sorry cat lovers, I'm not making this up, a nuisance. On the other hand, a group of their larger cousins, lions, is called a pride. A group of flamingos is called a flamboyant. A group of parrots is called a pandemonium. A group of sharks is called a shiver. Rhinos can weigh over a thousand pounds and can run in excess of 40 miles an hour. Unfortunately, they have really bad eyesight and can only see about 30 feet. It may be for that reason that a group of rhinos is called a crash. But the funniest one is the one that inspired this piece. You see, next week I'm attending a church planning conference and the folks organizing it have asked me to create some images while at the conference that describe what happened there. This image simply couldn't wait. I got a title of one of the sessions ahead of time and I knew right away what I had to do. You see, the session is called Death by Committee and a group of vultures is actually called a committee. This piece is a tongue-in-cheek reminder of that session. You see, in the church, we're forever forming committees, and sometimes that is exactly what needs to be done. But what does a committee of vultures do? They spend their lives circling around dead things. Too often, our human committees are similar. Yes, Jesus said we need to count the costs and we need to think before we act. But as one of my favorite writers, Andy Andrews, says, the purpose of thinking about things is to come to a conclusion, to make a decision, to get something done. Sometimes the best thing to do is not form a committee, but to pray, make a decision, and move forward in faith. And remember, praying about something is not just a way of putting something off. James 1, 5, and 6 says, If any of you lacks wisdom, he should ask God, who gives generously to all without finding fault. But when he prays, he must believe and not doubt, because he who doubts is like a wave of the sea blown and tossed by the wind. When we pray about something, it's not to put it off. It's to get a decision, to get direction, to keep going. So the bottom line is, it's okay to form a committee, but make a decision and watch for circling vultures. <laughs>